How, what is something that men could look out for when it comes to how a woman wears her hair uh-huh. to differentiate if she's somebody worth, you know what I'm saying, kicking it with, or somebody, nah, she for the streets, or she dirty, or she this? Mm, that's a good one. It depends. On, okay, so I could say it depends on your day. Like, okay, my day switch up and my outfit change. Mm. So maybe I'm at the gym, my hair is slicked back in a ponytail, but I'm also about to run to the grocery store and I look the same way to the fact that I'm about to go get dressed for work and I have to make sure my hair is together because I'm a businesswoman. So mm. it all depends on what character you're in in that specific time. Let's say, let's say you see her out, like you're at um. You're at the mall. Okay. So she's put together, right? Okay. Um, not super put together, but she's put together. But like, if her hair is frizzy, you need to just leave her alone. She she don't Damn. care about nothing. Her, her bathroom but, dirty. Like, what what are something <laughs> that you could say if a man spots this thing? Period. Don't judge a book by its cover. I actually get to know it. That's like mandatory. Like men if you, judge books by its cover. All the time, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Like, like do women. maybe she yeah, needs you. Thanks. You know, I feel like God puts certain people in your life for a reason. So if you meet a woman or... Any type of any women in general, and she not taking care of herself, she not cleaning up after herself, then maybe God puts you in her life so you can help her. But I'm I'm, I'm asking about things that men. Let's say you have a son. Mm-hmm. Right off bat, he can go ahead and just eliminate this girl. I'm gonna say something. Go ahead. And I'm not even gonna say I 100 agree with this. Mm-hmm. Not 100. percent I think that. People look at hair color and yes, nail length. Okay. If a woman is walking around, I'm this is just just how I hear people talk about them. If a woman is walking around with cloth, <laughs> talking with her hands, or has like bubblegum pink hair, tie dye rainbow, people are gonna be like, okay, what kind of job do you have? Like yeah. you don't, you must not work in a corporate setting. So what do you do for money? You know what? What is the aesthetic that you're going for if you have that type of image? So I think that's the biggest thing that I see. Not going to lie, I told my little brother she's got blue hair, red hair, run. Red hair? What kind of red, though? Like, on, I think that would be cool that I think y'all called it Auburn, Copper, whatever the case may be. I think that would be cool. But like that right there, the Powerpuff Girls. Oh my God! I think that's ghetto, not acceptable. But then again, y'all, that go back to the stereotypes that society has created. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why can't a white woman in yellow mm-hmm. hair be classy? Oh, that's a classy woman. That's a oh, business no, that, woman. It, that, for me, but, it's not even her race. Like if I white woman in so blue hair be feminist LGBTQ, uh, black woman in blue hair they cuss everybody out in the nail store. Like you see certain patterns. And I'm not saying like it's a foolproof. Um, she's going to be a bad person, but like if if like I said, my little brother came back to me. And he was telling me about a girl he's talking to, and he got to the fact she had blue hair. I'd be like, uh, I proceed with caution. Honestly, I feel the same way because if I see a female, and she, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. If she got long nails and she got blue hair, I'm gonna automatically think like she's ghetto. Mm-hmm. And I'm not I'm a, I'm a little other way because them be the ones that'll be like, why is she looking at me or they just have this, and I hate the stereotype, but it's just how it is. You know, before I get to ghetto, what I think personally is like she's bored. Yeah, I would she's think bored? she's bored. You know, like I want to be seen. There, there, there's some women, especially you know, um, from a male point of view, like they always have to be stimulated 20 they don't know how to be bored they always have to be something they always have like it gets to a point where like you can never do enough for her wow because she doesn't know how to sit with herself mm-hmm. she's she's not the one that you want to be in the house with when it's raining and ain't shit to do she gonna jump up like I need to color my she hair. She needs to do something. You know what I'm saying? She's I want just some blue hair. Maybe it's like an ADD thing, but she wants to. And, and a lot of times, in a lot of men's experiences, like those women are also problematic. Before we even get to ghetto, they're also problematic. They're mm-hmm. also like, uh, you know, mentally maybe unstable and See, shit like that. See, that gets down to the deeper root. I time. agree. Mm-hmm. But what is it about the the color though? Because if it's a woman who's always changing her hair. Mm-hmm. Do you see That's that the same way? Too. Absolutely. Why? Because okay. who do you want to be, girl? Absolutely. Because I, I would I would question if she knows who she is. Right. I would I would question if 
Like I'm talking about like she's changing her every week. Like she's playing a new character. Like I couldn't date like a Nicki Minaj. Couldn't do it. Mm, yeah. I was just, I was the same way. I used to change my hair every week. And like I said, I felt lost. I didn't know mm. who I was as a teenager. So I changed my hair literally every mm. single week. I had blonde hair, I had uh black hair, I had braids, I had a sew in, I wore my real hair, I wear mm. I went natural. I was doing all these crazy things with my hair because I was lost. I didn't know who I was. But you don't necessarily have to be lost. You can still know yourself and still wanna do different things. But you just still True. have to remember who you are and get to that mental state of just being calm and just having this one hairstyle for this time frame. Mm. Because I've yeah. I've reached that level. I had that journey of life. I experienced that time frame where mm. I wanted to change my hair, but I still knew who I was. So it's not a thing where we try to dictate a whole different image or be a different person. It's just more so that was just the phase that I was in life at that time. And believe it or not, hair color, we're not going to make that a bad thing either because it's actually a beautiful thing. Like It depends on your living or what do you do for a living or why you have to change your hair this mm. cover color or mm -hmm. like the people outside of you like it started and then one point in time it was a trend it was to change your hair color because obviously you got inspired by somebody else to actually do that or do this and then not having a I can see where you said not knowing yourself because mm -hmm. it's just like you're kind of mm -hmm. confused because I can pick you back on by both. everybody mm -hmm. all yeah, the right? time. Yeah. Being confused mm -hmm. on, on both behalves, like mm -hmm. not knowing. So I think it's important to actually know who you are, but it, to remind yourself that it's okay to do different things in that time frame. I think especially at our big age, like if we, let's say you get with a dude and y'all are trying to save towards a house, y'all are trying to start a business or whatever the case may be. And this woman is committed to being in somebody's salon every See, no, that's not, that's not the woman for you or week. what you're looking for for that person. You have to find the person that's actually for you. And that begins to, it's a growth thing. You have to know who you're dealing with. That's mandatory. Like, who is the person you're actually dating? Like, do you know them on a different level or mm -hmm. are you just wasting time? Or are you just having fun? Mm -hmm. Like know what phase you are in your life at that time. Mm -hmm. And you have to have, if you looking to buy a house, you have to have discipline. You can't just be having unnecessary spending because mm -hmm. you want to be the it girl or be in a salon and always have your mm -hmm. hair done. Sometimes it's or okay. Or you don't know who you are and you're still playing with stuff. Because yeah, that that's playing costs. That's scary. Right. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. yep. And then you ain't got time to actually be a real woman and learn the value of saving and how important it is to have emergency money or learning the value of even being a woman. So it, mm -hmm. it all breaks down to a lot. Yeah. And it, I'll, I'll say this because this was something that I had happened in one of my relationships. And <clears throat> her response was that I'm doing my hair myself. And what I was trying to explain to her, so my degree is in business. Okay. And a big principle that we talk about in business is opportunity cost. Mm -hmm. For every decision that you don't make, there is a cost based on what you lost, like what you didn't get from not making that decision. And for every decision that you do make, the cost to you is all the decisions you didn't make. Right. Mm -hmm. So I say that to say the time that she would be spending doing her hair this many times a week or this many times every month she could have been using that time developing a skill. I can relate. I can I'm a chip relate. in. So me personally, the only time I go get my hair done is if I'm on set and, and the production is paying for it. Or if I'm, I have to model for something and I have to pay for it to get it done. I'm not just going to randomly jump up and be like, I need somebody to do my hair. I'm going to do it myself because I'm at a point where I'm financially mature. And like you said, mm -hmm. I'm, at, I'm out here in Atlanta by myself. I don't have time to be getting my hair done, going to salon every single week, getting my hair done. Like, it's expensive out you here. Got other responsibilities. Because I have other responsibilities. So I do my own hair because I got to save money. I got to work towards getting a home. Mm -hmm. I got to work towards getting my dream car. I got things I want. And for me right now, buying hair is just not mm -hmm. in the plan for me right now. Mm-hmm. If I'm understanding you correctly, though, you're saying that even if she is doing her own hair, like you said, being more disciplined, it's kind of like this. Uh, when I first moved here, like I said, I used to go out a lot, right? And it used to always be free. So I, for a while, it was fun. And then I realized, I'm like, even though it was free, 
I still could have used that time to do something else. So you're saying right. like it's just because she's always feeling the need to change herself financially. Yes, you might be okay, but time wise, something that you can't get back is pulling right. out of that. Right, and it takes so much. I mean to say that it takes so much time to do my own hair to the point where now I'm like I don't even want to do my hair because it's gonna take way too much time. Like if I want to put some braids in my hair. I'm going to have to stand in the bathroom for like five hours. And I do not have five hours to stand in the bathroom and do my hair. Mm -hmm. I have too many businesses. I have too many commitments. So I'm going to rock this until I have the time to do my own hair. And I'm going to do my own hair until I have the money to get the service done. So it's all about Mm -hmm. just what you can manage, really. But it's funny how this all comes back full circle, though, because... What you just explained is the reason why I don't wear my natural hair out that much because it does take me two, three, four hours yeah. to mm. wash it, detangle it, do whatever I'm doing, right. twisting it. You know what I'm saying? So it's easier for me to just have a protective style and wear that for three or four exactly. weeks yeah. because that is me saving time. Mm. And so that's a, another reason going back to why we might wear protective styles. It's, it's too high maintenance for me to try to care for my hair. I work out, I sweat, yes. it shrinks. Like It's just too, too much, much that I would have to do throughout the week. So let, let's talk about men. <clears throat> I had a girl tell me that she actually doesn't like when a dude's hairline is too crispy. I like no crispy hairline. She I said <laughs> the way she explained it, she was like, "It's it's um, it's too done up. Like Did he's she say trying it was like too fake? hard. Right? Isn't yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Like different like different. it was like she wants it. She wants it to be clean, but not like too, too sharp. Clean. So." With that being said, speaking for, um, you know, or putting men on game, what do you guys like to see with men's hair, with black men's hair? I like to see it done. <laughs> First okay. off, I, I like... What are we talking about? A Caesar? Oh, we're talking about braids? We're talking okay, about dreads? So we, okay, so let's just talk about... Let's talk about locks, for example. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... I don't... Me, personally, I don't want somebody that can't maintain their hair like it's a certain type of time to get it done like you got so much new growth you know when it's time to actually get it twisted and get it clean like get it look nice like Mm -hmm. don't go four or five months to the point where it's new growth you can see dandruff you know that you need your hair done and wash now if we're talking about a guy that's get his hair cut you know where okay or wait waves for example i like a fresh cut you look clean, you look nice, okay. But once it starts, like a man should know how to maintenance his hair as much as a woman, you know? Yeah. Because that's what we care about. Y'all should care about your hair. There are some guys out here that has like, what are you, like a nappy fro. Is it called a nappy fro? And they don't even like put moisturizer in it or mm-hmm. comb it out and make sure. Oh, that's kind of what I got. N- no, but you have curls and mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you wash your hair. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of men don't wash their hair and it be dirty and then it just grows out and be matted. Yeah. That's like you should like, take like your hair. That type of <laughs> yeah, and then it like you randomly have this hair that gets mad, and now you got locks all of a sudden, but they all just all over the place. Mm. And it's, so I don't you don't like, like that. the free form, like the Florida um, look. No, I ain't, okay. I ain't settling. Like what Jay Z got going on right now, I, it would be like yeah, a no just for me. snip it, just cut it off. Clean, you might as well, right? Clean cut, yeah, clean together, clean put cut. together nice. Yeah, but, but and and that's my question is is I have a suspicion that women don't like too clean. Like there's such a thing as too clean because no. you'll, you'll, you'll hear I've heard women say, for instance, I want him to look like he's trying but not trying too hard. Help me un- help me understand that because so, you, see he, you know what I'm t- you know what I'm saying. So the one trying thing I, too hard though. I think eyebrows is something for me. Okay. Do you remember back in the day oh. where people used to put like cuts in your like, eyebrows? That's trying too hard. Yeah. Uh, but a man could get his eyebrows groomed. I yeah. like to see that. You know when you go and get your hair cut. Take a little excess hair off on the side. So Mm -hmm. you don't want it to get to the point where, because I think that what what women are saying is that that's borderline feminine for us. And so that's a turn off. There we go. So it has to be a little bit of a balance. Mm. Um, I don't want you, you can have nice waves. Do I want to see you brushing your hair every 10 minutes? No, No. I feel like you're doing too much. Mm. So it's balance. So you don't want a high maintenance man? No, I don't want a high maintenance man. Mm. But do a high maintenance man want a high maintenance woman? (laughs) <laughs> who are always in the mirror and so what are like can they I, can they balance I, each other I'll, I'll out say, I'll say this I've been called a bougie dude I like not a high maintenance woman but a woman who knows how to take care of herself yeah mm-hmm. you know what I mean so like I like the towel around your head and the rope I like all that shit <laughs> some dudes don't um, I like the little 
phone things between your toes because you got. I like that shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, some some dudes they just want you to be able to like yeah, just rock out with you. You know, I won't say so. <laughs> just rock out. But um, yeah, but I, but but I, I think especially nowadays. <clears throat> Since we're talking about black women on their femininity journey, we're talking about soft girl life or soft life, soft, soft girl era. era, the whole nine. Um, I do think we want to see more women taking care of themselves, but mm-hmm. we don't want to see, and we talked about this, we don't want to see you simply just focusing on the aesthetic. Yes. Actually living your real life. Living your real life, um, improving yourself as a woman, not yes. just how you look as a woman. So... Last question, we'll close this out. Um, what does soft life, soft girl era looks like? Look like? What does it mean to you? And if you can relate it to hair, that would be even better. You can go for it. Oh, I, I, I see it's on your head. Like it's, it's, it's still formulated. Um, okay. Soft girl era to me is the opposite of what we're seeing on TikTok because I think that for a lot of women, uh, we are kind of trapped in this masculine slash wounded femininity state Mm. and so to stray away from that we have to face our traumas right do a lot of breaking generational cycles curses and that's Mm. painful so to me that looks like therapy that looks like you doing shadow work figuring out where your flaws are where your shortcomings are and it is very hard it is a very hard journey so I think that um in terms of hair I think that when you can truly embrace more natural styles I, I really feel like that that's, that makes a difference. As I've gotten, and I think it's kind of like a little bit of a journey. So even if you're still wearing protective styles, what type of styles are you wearing? Are they natural looking styles? Are you doing a lot? You know, things like yeah. that. I think that kind of progresses as you begin to feel more comfortable with yourself and you stray away from, like we were saying, those Eurocentric beauty standards. Um, so related to hair, like I already told y'all, I think froze are beautiful. So I think whatever your natural state is, yes. rocking out with that, that's like top tier. Yeah. You're in your element. Like you're super comfortable within yourself. Absolutely. I like that. Absolutely. I can agree. Y'all got anything to add? Um, soft girl era? Le- actually learning self-love. Like Ooh. learning to actually love yourself. Like I feel like that's so, that's most important as a woman. You have to learn how to love yourself because too many women is like just to say it too many is women is out here searching for things that they never had because it's a missing piece instead of actually looking within yourself and actually learning it and gaining the knowledge of one's beauty like it gets deeper to where you already aware of the things that you're trying to get from somebody else. You know how to find it yourself or you know how to actually find things that's suitable for you. Like a lot of women of what I finally realize is they go out to find these perfect men instead of just enjoying their own self-love life and letting that man attracts to them. And it could be the perfect person for them. But soft girl era is just learning the value of oneself and actually getting in tune with you and enjoying your long time and actually finding things that's suitable for you or that makes you happy or learning new things and learning new skills as you begin to grow and develop into a new person because it's a it's never an ending cycle we're just only only going to get older and it's like we have to keep inspiring the people that's not aware or actually I feel like it's important to actually motivate women to mm-hmm. Love who you are, like love who you are, know that you're important, know that your beauty matters, like you don't have to be like the next person, like be soft with yourself, like you don't always have to prove a point to social media because it's going to always be there. Like I finally realized to love my private life more than anything Ooh, else. I like that. Like I like that. Who I am in private is so beautiful than who, who y'all see like mm-hmm. I'm a, they they the people love me like I'm the humble like I'm a good person I don't want to be a bad person like some people are rooted evil or come off mad and ag- angry and aggressive based off who they is and they haven't found self love within so it's just the era it's a phase to actually learn who you are and find understanding in the person that you're trying to be like who are you really trying to be. This person on this social media account who you have to, like, keep up with and watch 24-7 mm-hmm. instead of actually learning who you are, who you look at in the mirror, and mm-hmm. why you actually matter. So 
soft girl era can go different ways, how you interpret it, how you take it in, and how you actually accept it in it. Absolutely. Mm. Soft girl era for me, I feel like I haven't reached that place yet. So I feel like it's everything that I'm working towards, like where I can get a service and not have to worry about, oh, it's not in my budget this month, Mm -hmm. where I can take care of me fully, truly, and wholly. Like, I want to reach a place in my life where it can be all about taking care of me. Right? That's what soft girl like is, right? It can, is. It could be about all about taking care of me, but also about um, where a man can also take care of me, where I can allow a man to do that, where, yeah. I, where I don't yeah. have, where I can be vulnerable, where I can truly be soft and be open to receiving a man's love. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel like I want to walk into that space where... He can give me flowers. See, now I need to reach that element of life because I haven't reached that and I ain't mm. looking at that like that. See, like, now I, I you wanna... just hit a different... Uh, my soft girl era was different from yours because right. of me. So now I've realized that I've... Okay, so this goes to a whole nother topic that's right. going to kind of like blow your minds. This is probably why I'm attracted to women and not men based off not allowing a man to actually... Right. Take upon the needs, <laughs> so now it goes a whole different level in the atmosphere of what I'm allowing. It's it actually right. what you allow in your platform, in your space, in your circle, and actually taking the time to have discipline and also just exactly. being aware. Because it goes to how do you treat a soft girl? You know, mm. like how does a soft girl deserve to be treated? Like how do you wow, how do you crazy. earn that? How do you carry yourself? So it's like I want to walk into that space where a man can see me mm-hmm. and be like, "She deserved flowers today." And he's mm-hmm. aware, and you don't have and he's, to remind him. And he know him. it. Like he just look at you and just he just know like you that girl, you the woman of my dreams. You mm-hmm. deserve flowers. I'm gonna rub your feet after work. Like a lot I of men not be like treated that though. Soft. I want to be treated soft. Yes. Here's, yes. Here's, yes. Here's, yes. Here's the thing, right? And I and I talk about this a lot. A lot of women want the benefits with none of the responsibility. Same same goes for marriage. A lot of women want weddings, but not marriages, mm. right? And what I mean by that is like, even with this whole soft girl era thing, we see a lot of women talking about, you know, being in the robe and being on a yacht in Dubai in a thong and this, this and that. But are you going to help that man get, get to the point oh, of see, having a yacht in right. Dubai? And that's are you, you going to have a meal ready for him when he's busting his ass doing the work necessary to get to the point where he can pamper you and put you in the four seasons and shit like that? A lot of women just want to be sugar babies Mm-mm. instead of like a woman to a man. Yeah, that's so true. But why is that? Because they just... I keep saying they like I'm not a woman. <laughs> so now, right. now I'm looking at my inner self right. like certain women just feel like stuff's supposed to be given to them. Like yes, mm. you're the prize. Yes, a man should want you, but what? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> what That's another a, podcast. That's yeah. another episode. But it's like what should? A, what do you? What are you gonna do for me? Mm. Like you got to bring value too. But I just feel like men, women have this idea that everything got to be given to them in order to prove that. He the one. But how are you going to prove to me that you the one? But- and, 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 you know, when we're talking about, like, this whole table conversation that we can't have now because this is a long mm-hmm. conversation. Mm-hmm. But I think that's all men are saying. That's what? all men are saying is, like, in exchange for everything that you demand of me as a man, what do I get from you? Right. A lot of women are just, like, putting themselves on the table and saying, this is what you get. You get pussy. That's not enough. That's and not that's enough. It. And it's like, where did we learn that? Who taught us that? Mm. Why is that? Why is it a thing? That might be episode two. Why is two. it a thing? Yeah, because I'm ready. I got a lot that to might, say. That, that Ooh, might be episode two. But is it because most or some men only want that? So we think that's all they want? I think it looks that way. We shall see. It looks that way. But I want to thank you guys for joining me today on episode one of the Traveling Podcast yeah. here in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> so you know, round of applause. Yes. So I got sound effects. This can do round of applause, but oh. it wasn't working just now. Y'all hear? <laughs> yeah, we hear. Y'all hear? All right, cool, 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 cool. But yeah, I appreciate y'all. Y'all, thank you for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next, next time. Next time. See us next time because we will be back. Right. <laughs>